Hey everyone, this is Michael with a general reading intended for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020. I do apologize that these videos are coming out so, so late. Uh, for those of you who missed my announcement, I actually had some situations arise with friends and family, and everything's okay. I just had to do a lot of shuffling around, and it just felt like I needed to shift my priorities to the people in my life. And I, I really also just was pretty swamped, honestly, with personal clients. Um, and I, I did actually announce that I am currently not offering new readings or Reiki sessions. I'm kind of playing catch up and I'm actually supposed to be taking some time off. Um, I did start an intuitive download around this full moon in Libra on the 8th, a little bit before actually. And that makes sense because Libra is my rising sign, and part of that download, they told me you need to be as unencumbered as possible, so I need to take time off from the readings. I will still be doing messages of the day on Instagram, so for those of you who aren't following me, I am still out there, I am still putting out content. I actually have been putting out more free content during these times because I think it's so, so important, especially with everything we're going through. Um, and it's really been quite a gift. Uh, you've actually been so helpful in supporting this channel with your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes, so doing that really does help me continue growing this channel, continue putting these messages out there, and it's really been a gift to do so, especially during this time, but I, I do need to also be taking care of myself amidst all of this, and I think that's kind of what this full moon was about for me. And I feel like I'm going to be doing my shadow work. I'm also going to be doing my meditation. I, I have as much spiritual work to do as anybody else. And I, I really just feel quite strongly that that's only going to serve my audience and my viewers and my clients. So thank you all for your understanding there. I know you've all been very supportive in the comments already. Um, and I think that's I think that's pretty much it. Uh, my, my services will be available again on the 22nd at a 20% discount. I'm kind of just doing that indefinitely at this point. Um, all of my links are down below. And I actually am going to be doing a shout out to a friend who is a silversmith. She is incredible. She actually recently did a line based off of the tarot suit of, or I'm sorry, the sword suit in the tarot deck. Um, and it was just absolutely stunning. A lot of artists, uh, creatives, performers, they're really, really feeling the impact of this time. So if you're still working either from home or as an essential worker, and you're looking for some jewelry, I highly recommend checking out Octea Alchemy. All of her information is down below. And even if you can't get new jewelry right now, you can totally support her just by following her on Instagram. And she just has these amazing posts. She has these amazing pieces. And she's also into like mycology. She's just a super fascinating person, so she won't disappoint. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do some shuffling for you now, Aquarius, just to see what comes up here. And as I'm doing that, I just wanna give my disclaimer that this is a general reading, meaning not all the messages that come forward are gonna be meant for you specifically. And with the nature of this reading, we're actually looking at the subconscious. So it's possible that the reading won't resonate right away, but it will make sense later. So just kind of keep that in mind. I do actually recommend watching your moon sign for this series. Um, so if you don't know what that is, I do have a natal chart calculator in the description box down below that should be able to help you figure that out. Um, and that, that does require your birth date or your birth time and birth location. So if you don't know what that is, you might not be able to figure out what your moon is, although the moon you can kind of guess based on the day sometimes. So what are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Ooh, that's way too many. Let's try that again. I'm sorry, Taurus. I don't know why I keep saying Aquarius. I just did Aquarius. What are the messages for Taurus? <laughs> so the high priestess and the world. So the high priestess is showing up as your overall energy. And that makes perfect sense because it represents mystery. It represents the unknown, things that have yet to reveal themselves. And that's kind of coming up pretty strongly as a theme for you. And, you know, coming out with the world 
yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now that makes sense kind of coming out together. But it's almost like Taurus, I get the impression that for a lot of you, yeah, for a lot of you, it felt like you were about to begin this new cycle or things were just taking off for you. You were looking forward to some sort of transition here. And now you're not sure if it's going to happen. For some of you, this could be like literal graduation. For others of you, it could be a promotion. Or maybe it didn't happen and it, it just fell through. Whatever it was that you were looking forward to, whatever it was that you thought was going to be completed, it's now uncertain or you're now left wondering why did this happen? And the blind spot for you is this fool. I do want to clarify this, actually. The fool, the fool. Some of you are also just trying to analyze too much. I understand, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Some of you are really trying to figure out and, and sense what is going to happen next, but you actually need to be in the moment to do that. That's kind of what the High Priestess represents, that eternal now. The Fool, just kind of moving with it. Some of you haven't realized... This is a little bit of a heavy message. Some of you haven't realized that we are about to fall off this cliff. And our lives are really going to be changed for a while. <laughs> it's not like once quarantine's over, once the pandemic is over, we're just going to go back to normal. There actually might be a period where there is a little bit of a respite, but I don't feel like it's going to be long lasting, to be completely honest with you. We're in a timeline now where things are actually pretty set in stone for a while. And I know that's going to scare some people the way I've kind of come to think of this and the visual that came to me as part of this download that I was talking about in the intro is like we're moving through an hourglass and you can kind of imagine this open part of the hourglass where we were as having a lot of openness. The t there's more possibilities, more potentials that we can kind of play with. And over the past few years, we've been kind of creating this collapse in timeline potentials. And we've sort of created a situation where it was unavoidable, where now we must go through the shift in a certain way. And that's kind of that narrow center part of the hourglass. And what that represents is that we are all gonna go through kind of a period of, it's going to be a challenging time for a lot of people. That doesn't mean it's going to be miserable all the time. It's actually going to be um, kind of a test. How centered are you? How much does your sense of peace and security, how much does that come from within? And regardless of what happens in the world around you, no one can take your emotional or spiritual sovereignty from you. And that's going to be a really, really important thing to remember in the next couple of years. Some of you haven't fully realized this change. The world has changed. And if you have realized that, you still don't know what that means in your life. And it's almost like this test of faith. I don't know if you're supposed to know right now, Taurus. I think you just kind of have to sit with this, and I know you're a very stable sign, so I imagine this is kind of hard. You do have Uranus that has been hanging out in your sign as well. And when we had Saturn enter Aquarius last month, right around when everything kind of peaked out in terms of like the response, it was squaring that planet that Uranus and Taurus, it, it was, it's really shaking up our sense of stability. 
because Uranus represents a revolution. It represents reinvention. It also represents changes to the economy. That's something I actually talked about at the start of this year. We've known that's something that's going to happen. And I was also talking about a big kind of political uprising. You can actually read last month's blog talking about Saturn entering Aquarius. This is the setting of the stage of that. We are going to be part of kind of a revolution. And that's not always easy because a lot of the time when that happens, it's because there's a lot of control that's going to be put into place. And we've kind of just gotten to this point where it's like, we're about to fall off this cliff and it's, it's kind of inevitable actually. And I'm not trying to be doom and gloom. I'm not trying to tell people that your life is going to be horrible because the reality is, is like there are people who find happiness in very challenging situations. And that's really what I've been talking about this whole time on this channel, like finding that peace, acknowledging that circumstance, not trying to outrun it because it's like this, this um, Chinese finger trap. If you're trying to pull away from your fear or your discomfort, you just get more stuck. You have to come closer. You have to really embrace that discomfort to be free of it. And a lot of people have been talking about fear, like fear is this bad thing. It's actually not fear itself that is wrong. In fact, it's our intolerance to fear, our wanting to get rid of it so quickly that you see people making these impulsive decisions or behaviors. We've watched this, for instance, with people being afraid of running out of toilet paper. There'll be a shortage of toilet paper. And that caused them to hoard toilet paper, and they literally created the shortage that they were afraid of. And we really need to have a lot of emotional mastery and a lot of comfort or willingness to be uncomfortable through the uncertainty, through this transition, through this change in the world. And I think a lot of Tauruses are really being affected by this quite heavily because of the planets right now. And I've been telling this to a lot of people, my clients, and in some of my other general readings, the people who are actually going to be most successful during this time, because even though a lot of people will be struggling, we're going to see a lot of people rising into their purpose. We're going to be seeing a lot of people stepping into their calling. In a way, it's almost like the world is having this near-death experience, and I don't mean this literally, so don't freak out, but it's like we're realizing how vulnerable and susceptible our lives truly were. And we're kind of having this flash of like, oh, you know, I, I don't know what the future is going to look like. I know that things are going to change. I know that eventually I am going to die. It's like, what am I going to do with my time here? And I think a lot of you are really going to finally take a leap of faith as a result of all of this, but you don't see that right now at all. Because I think you're just trying to get through this week, this next month, what's in store for the next year. You're going to be making some changes, I think, and it's not going to feel super secure but again, those, the people who are really on their spiritual path, who are really following that, those are the people who are going to make it through. And those are the people who are actually going to be leading others. We, we're going to kind of be anchors. This is what we've been training for over the past few years, right? With our spiritual tools. And kind of the crack in the mirror here, this page of swords... I feel like some of you are actually going to be learning some new skills, and maybe that's online. And that's going to be... It, it's going to lead you towards this new thing, and it might not even go in the direction you think it is. You might think, well, I kind of want to take an art class, and maybe you'll do some art classes or learn about art, or learning art techniques. And then you kind of do that and realize, well, maybe that's not actually what I wanted to do. But you still picked up that skill set. And once you've dedicated yourself to your path, once you've dedicated yourself to living a life of purpose, you'll start to notice that everything you have done will be for a reason. And you might not see that reason until years down the road. Maybe you decide to make a website and 
after taking that art class, you're able to do all the graphic design yourself or able to make these logos or whatever it is. And you kind of recognize then, oh, well, it's a good thing that I, I did these things. It's a good thing I was learning these new skills. And maybe it's not even some formal class. Maybe you're just exposing yourself to new ideas or new traits or trades or, or something like that but just expanding your mind here and talking to new types of people, connecting with different types of people, obviously online or probably not so much in person right now, uh, but that, that, that does depend on where you are in the world. Um, and maybe if you're an essential worker, you're, you're still out talking to coworkers or something. But a lot of this is really about opening your mind and being willing to change. The willingness to change, Taurus, is actually going to give you the most stability. And I know that seems so ironic. And that's going to be the shadow you're going to be kind of facing up with this month. Because it, we were talking about this fear. If you're afraid of instability, if you're afraid of that collapse and you're trying to take control, you're going to be making decisions from that state of resistance that actually kind of move you closer to that thing you fear. And so instead of that, I want you to just have this sense of security, the sense of stability. I can adapt. Things might be uncomfortable for a while. Things might be uncertain for a while. The economy might be wrecked for a while. But I know I can make it through this. I'll figure something out. And again, those are the people who are going to be able to use 2020 to the most, to the best of their ability. And those are the people who are actually going to rise and do very incredible things, I believe. It's like things will get worse and they'll get better at the same time. And those are all the messages I am getting for you right now, Taurus. I do hope that this was helpful. I hope that it wasn't too heavy, but honestly, it's it's kind of like a loaded gun at this point. Like, it's just the times we're in. And I, I've always been very real with you on my channel. I've always respected my audience because I've always been very honest and I, I've never been one to sugarcoat. And you, you're all really tough people. You're all really, if you're watching this video and you're not sure of your ability to move through, the fact that you're watching my channel, the fact that you're a vibrational match to watching this video, you have the strength. You do. You really, really do. And it's just, it's about changing. It's about being mutable. It's about being flexible. And I, I, I wholly believe in you. And if, if you want that daily guidance, if you feel like you kind of need stuff to help you get through the day-to-day, -day, I would definitely follow me on Instagram. All of my links are down below. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, Taurus.